Hello friends, welcome back to channel. Today is 21st of November 2020 and in this video we are going to see all the important current affairs from 21st of November 2020. Before starting today's video, we will quickly revise the questions asked in our last video. Our first question was, which of the following states has recently become the part of read and write campaign and said is Kerala who has owned the IPL 2020 recently and said is Mumbai Indians. Which of the following day is celebrated as World Science Day annually and said is 10th November in which of the following states India's first Solar based integrated multi water supply project has been launched and said in Arunachal Pradesh. Fifth question was Collins Dictionary has declared Dash as the word of the year 2020 and said is lockdown. Sixth question was Alia Zafar has become the first women director of which nation's cricket board recently and said is Pakistan. The book titled Your Best Day is Today has been written by Dash and said is Anupam Kher. Which of the following day is celebrated as National Education Day and said is 11th November. Which of the following nation has released a special pictorial anthology on Mahatma Gandhi to mark the 151th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi and said is Nepal. And 10th question was who among the following has been selected as the member of United Nations Committee of Administrative and Budgetary Questions and said is Vidisha Maitra. These were the questions asked in our last video. Now we will start today's video. Our first question is which of the following day has been celebrated as National Press Day in India? Answer is option number 2, 16th November. Recently, 16th November has been celebrated as National Press Day in India. In 1956, the first press commission was planned to form a press council to protect freedom of the press in India. And on July 4th, 1966 the press council was established in india and it came into effect from 16th of november 1966 that's the reason every year 16th november is celebrated as national press day in india every year answer will be option number two 16th november second question is which of the following state government has recently launched mukhya mantri rural street vendor scheme answer is option number one madhya pradesh recently the madhya pradesh state government has launched mukhya mantri rural street vendor scheme it has been launched to provide loans of up to rupees 10,000 without interest to street vendors at rural areas in the line of PM Sony. This scheme, which was launched by central government on 1st of June 2020. Answer will be option number 1, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, look at the map. This is Madhya Pradesh. Capital is Bhopal. Governor is Anandiben Patel. Chief Minister is Shivra C. H. Chauhan. Its legislature has 200 and 30 seats, 29 members are elected to Lok Sabha and 11 members are elected to Rajya Sabha from Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is the second largest state by area and fifth largest by population in India. It borders with Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Rajasthan. Ganga, Godavari, Galti, Narmada and Mahi are the main rivers of Madhya Pradesh. Roko Toko Abhiyan, Hamara Ghar, Hamara Vidyalaya Abhiyan, Kil Corona Abhiyan and Ek Mask and Jindagi Abhiyan. Have been started by Madhya Pradesh government. 750 mega Reva Ultra solar power project, which is Asia's largest, has been started by Madhya Pradesh, has been started in Madhya Pradesh. Intazar Apka, which is a social media campaign to attract to attract tourists, has been started by Madhya Pradesh state government. Madhya Pradesh is also the best state in India in implementing PM Sony the scheme. Indore, which is the cleanest city in India, is also located in Madhya Pradesh, and Atmanirbhar Bharat Training Center is being established in Madhya Pradesh in Indore city. Next, who among the following has been awarded with JCB Prize for Literature 2020? Answer is option number one. Yes, Harish. JCB Prize for Literature. It is an Indian literary award established in 2018. It is awarded annually with 25 lakhs Indian rupees to a distinguished work of fiction by an Indian writer working in English or translated fiction by an Indian writer and Malayalam writer. Yes, Harish has won the 2020's JCB Prize for Literature 2020. Answer will be option number one. Hariharan, Hariharan has recently been awarded by JC Daniel Award 2020 and Paul Jajaria. He has been given Ejuthachan Award, which is the highest literary award of Karnataka government. Fourth question is, which of the following day is celebrated as World Pneumonia Day annually? Answer is option number 4, 12th November. Every year, 12th November is celebrated as World Pneumonia Day. It is celebrated every year on November 12th to raise awareness among people about deadly infection, endorse action plans to protect, prevent and treat pneumonia. It was first launched in 2009 and 
theme for 2020's World Dominia Day was Every Breath Count. Every Breath Count was the theme of 2020's World Pneumonia Day. Answer will be option number 4. Next question is Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has died at the age of 84 recently. He was the Prime Minister of Dash. Answer is option number 4 Bahrain. Look at the image. This was Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He was an Bahraini royal and politician who had served as the Prime Minister of Bahrain from 1970 until his death in November 2020. He was the longest serving Prime Minister of any government in the world and he recently died at the age of 84. Answer will be option number 4, Bahrain. Bahrain, look at them. This is Bahrain, capital is Manama. Now PM is Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and currency of Bahrain is Bahraini Dinar. Next question is, which of the following state has announced to start Mission Rozgar Initiative? Answer is option number 3, Uttar Pradesh. Recently, Uttar Pradesh state government has announced to launch an initiative called Mission Rozgar and it will be launched to generate over 50 lakh jobs for youth in both public and private sector by March 2021. Through this campaign, youth of Uttar Pradesh will get a chance to apply for jobs in the governmental department, councils and corporations. Answer will be option number 3, Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, look at the map. This is Uttar Pradesh. Capital is Lucknow. Governor is Anandir Patel and Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh is Yogi Adityanath. Next question is, which of the following states has launched Secha Samadhan app recently? Answer is option number 3, Odisha. The Chief Minister of Odisha, Navin Patnaik has launched Secha Samadhan, a bilingual mobile application to address the irrigation problems faced by farmers without them having visit the offices concerned with the launching of this application farmers need not to run to the offices of water resources department and can send their grievances through photograph or videos and the farmers will be informed about the status of their complaints through sms answer will be option number three odisha odisha this is odisha capital is bhuneshwar governor is ganeshilal chief minister is navin patnaik its legislature has 147 seats 21 members are elected to Lok Sabha and 10 members are elected to Rajya Sabha from Odisha. It borders with West Bengal, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Andhra Pradesh and Mahanadi is the main river of Odisha. Next question is, which of the following countries has recently launched world's first 6G satellite? Answer is option number 2, China. Recently, China has sent into space the world's first 6G experimental satellite. The 6G satellite, satellite was among three Chinese satellites successfully launched into orbit along with 10 commercial remote sensing satellites. Answer will be option number 2, China. China, look at this is China. Capital is Beijing. Governor is Xi Jinping and currency of China is Ren Minbi. Ninth question is, which of the following state governments has celebrated 14th to 20th November 2020 as Child Right Week. Answer is option number two, Rajasthan. Recently, Rajasthan state government has celebrated Child Rights Week from November 14th to 20th, 2020 through, through skill development activities, awareness programs and new welfare schemes for children. Answer will be option number two, Rajasthan. Rajasthan, this is Rajasthan. It, capital is Jaipur. Governor is Kalraj Mishra. Chief Minister is Ashok Gehloth. Its legislature has 200 seats. 25 members elected to Lok Sabha and 10 members elected to Rajya Sabha from Rajasthan. It borders with Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. It is the largest state in India by area and fifth largest by population in India. And Panchayat was first adopted on 2nd of October 1959 in Rajasthan. Next question is, which of the following state government has recently unveiled Project Air Care? Answer is option number 2, Haryana. Recently, the Chief Minister of Haryana, Manohar Lal Khattar, has virtually unveiled Project Air Care to combat rising air pollution in Gurgaon and 65 wing augmentation air purifying units will be set up at areas with high air quality indices in Gurgaon to improve the air quality. Answer will be option number 2, Haryana. Haryana, this is Haryana. Capital is Chandigarh. Governor is Satyadev Narayan Arya. Chief Minister is Manohar Lal Khattar. Its legislature has 90 seats. 10 members elected to Lok Sabha and 5 members elected to Rajya Sabha from Haryana. It borders with Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab and Delhi. Next question is, India's first sandalwood museum is being established in Dash. Answer is option number 4, Karnataka. India's first sandalwood museum is being established in Karnataka in Ashokpuram. The museum is, is set up by the Regional Forest Department to educate farmers about the significance of cultivation of sandalwood. This will also provide technical support, information on availability of saplings, marketing facilities, pest control measures, incentives and schemes provided by government to sandalwood growers. Answer will be option number 4, Karnataka. Now, answer of the question which was asked in last video, question was which 
स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज रिसेंटली अनाउंस टू लॉन्च अ लैंड वेब पोर्टल कॉल्ड धरनी आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री तेलंगाना रिसेंटली दी तेलंगाना स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज अनाउंस टू लॉन्च अ लैंड वेब पोर्टल कॉल्ड धरनी नाउ टूडेज क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज पी एम नरेंद्र मोदी हैज इनोग्रेटेड किसान सुरोदया योजना इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट ऑप्शन आर बिहार गुजरात केरला एंड महाराष्ट्र इफ यू नो आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू कैन राइट इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो और वी विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो